What's up guys, it's Epix Killer here, and you know, you guys asked for a Let's Play, and I've been slacking, but here it is. We are going to do a Let's Play. So, let's just start a brand new game. We're obviously going to do Survival, Standard, we're not doing anything custom. Everything's regular. So let's go ahead, and first thing we'll do is we will make some dupes. As you guys know, your beginning dupes can make or break you, so... We're going to really take just a, a, a decent amount of time to look at these dupes. And typically, I don't know about you guys, but I like to get a good farmer, um, a good digger, and a good researcher. So let's first look at that. So we have a creativity guy here, strength tinkering, eh, athletics, I always like that. Construction, learning, and oh, he likes research. So this is a good guy right here. I actually like this guy already. Uh, hopefully we don't stress him out, so we'll keep him. He's a researcher. Let's see if we can get... Oh, that's, that's a decent researcher, too. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves a good digger and a good farmer. So we're looking for digging, farming. There's a good farmer, even though he's not... It's not his interest. Duplicate, errands, or clue. One less morale from learning. Right, so that makes sense. If he's going to be researching or digging full time, we definitely want that to be a uh, strength. Edit. Look at this guy. This guy is pretty beasty, squeamish. Suit wearing, cook, and research. I don't know if I can say no to this guy. Of course, he doesn't have any bonus research speed. So let's let's keep going. We really just want to get a couple high. High stat, but okay, so here's a dig, uh, but he has, he has no digging. That's wonderful. Build art. Well, here's a dig, yeah, but he doesn't have any interest. I mean, this guy's, guys, let's, I'm going to hold on to him for now, but I don't know. Let's go back to this guy, see what we can get here. Ranching, researching. Operate care, suit wearing supply, tidy, dig, cook, farm. He's a farmer, but he's got no skills. Kindness, ranching, creativity, farming, supply. Oh, he had a lot of... Look at this guy. This, this guy is ridiculous. Man, I'm tempted to keep him. Let's keep going, though. Digging, operate, loud sleeper. Nah, we can't have a loud sleeper. Those are just too annoying. Farming, learning, kindness, and cook. Not too bad. Farm, cook. Well, this guy. This guy's not bad at all. Construction. Let's see. Creativity, construction. It's tempting, but again, no dig skill. No dig. Cook research. And it's, I'm getting some good ones, just not really what I want here. Look at this. 200% research, operate, build, loud sleeper. Of course he's of course he's gotta be a loud sleeper. I actually don't mind the flatulent dupes, to be honest. I mean this this is gonna have to be him. I mean look at this. Tidy, research, flatulent. Does the decor learn? Okay, so he, this guy is definitely a researcher. Let's keep rolling on this guy. Tidy suit cooking. Hmm. This guy is actually, well, girl, Camille. It's actually pretty good because we're going to want suit wearing eventually. But it really doesn't help me at the beginning with the cooking. We really need a farmer and a digger here. Let's look for some farming. Digging. This guy does both. And he said, oh yeah, so this guy's, I'm fine with this. Farming, digging. And I guess this guy, we can just kind of make the same thing. We're going for the farming, digging. Hopefully he has like a, uh, an interest in farming. Let's see, suit wearing farm. He has an interest, but no skill whatsoever. Learning three, farming, farming, 
Not getting too lucky here. Squeamish. Quick learner. Farming, learning, digging, athletics. Ugly oh, crap. Alright. We're good to go. Let's call this place... We're gonna call this... Ethics. No, well, let's let's not be too vain. Let's call it something good. We'll call it uh, Primera Primera Vera. Even though that makes no sense. Okay, that's that's what we're calling it. And we're off. Uh, alert! I've awoken with a starting crew of three duplicates, but it's not as we expected. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so as you guys know, first thing you always want to do is kind of scope out what you can. Use our WSAD. Uh, yeah, okay, so we've got some water, water, decent amount of water, lots of metal right here, nice and close, as well as coal, a lot of algae. Looks like some limited oxygen's way up there, and just a little bit here. So I think we're probably going to go with the uh, standard 20 uh, wide. So let's go ahead and we'll just we'll just start clearing. We just gonna start clearing. And I don't really care about all that carbon dioxide. It's quite a bit in there. Oh well. So let's go ahead and throw some tiles up. We know that we're gonna want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do the standard 20 here. With some gaps, of course. And let's immediately just get some furniture up for these guys. We'll reposition these. <clears throat> reposition. We will reposition these. At, uh, at a later time. Let's get our outhouse up. Of course, we want to get our wash basin up ASAP. Uh, probably should give them a second one here actually let's just let's just throw up two of these just to start and we'll immediately start expanding let's get some ladders going up and down Ooh. and again the goal here is expand as much as possible but without like sort of over or under doing anything and I know that sort of sounds silly but that's so cute. And I don't actually want a uh, thing there, do I? Now, it's been a minute since I played. Here I am, hitting all these hotkeys wrong and whatnot. So we're going to use our standard 20. Oh, we can already see. We have... Okay, it looks like we have... Uh, whatever this is down here. What's that German? I believe F9, right? Okay, so we have some slime lung here. We've got to be careful of. Some up here. It looks like we're pretty clear up in this middle, right, bottom, and left. So just have to be mindful of that as we're uh, as we're continuing. So we'll just let these guys do their thing to begin with. Um, we know we're going to want a second layer here. Either way, so I'll just go ahead and start making them. I'm not gonna mess with the oxalite, I don't think. Actually, this just I don't want to take any risks. Kind of keep that as clear as possible. All right, so far so good. Obviously, we're gonna want to get some mealwood asap. We need to get our uh, what's it called? Research table. Where are you, research table? Power base. Where's the dang research table, y'all? There it is. That's right. We just needed some uh, metal, I guess, is all it was. Um, 400k. Knock out some metal. Let's get rid of all this. Not too worried about that right now. I guess at the moment, let's see, standard priority. What is he like? Which is the guy that uh, we picked that really likes researching? I think we had a guy. 
research. So Frankie likes research. So he's obviously going to be our oh, our top researcher. Now what about Hassan? Does he like researching? He doesn't really. So we'll let him do it. But you know, it's not the top priority for him. Oh no. Because we don't have any water yet. Oh no. Oh man, that was a that was a legit fart right there. What's up with that? Okay. Well, I don't want to overdo this. So let's get this down here. Man, these are some noisy dupes. Like seriously. <clears throat> All right. Well, we'll do we'll do right there. And let's go ahead and we'll just sort of make sure we can get in there real quick. Alright, so so far so good. Next major goal after we get some water. Get a research table up right away. And I already know that at least for this moment, I'm probably going to do an under research table like right here maybe. And we'll go ahead and we'll just put all the power stuff right next to it. We'll, we'll do a little bit of a gap because I know we're going to want a mega thing there and da da da. So let's put that there. Leave some space for a big battery. Two there. And of course we'll go ahead and uh... Oh! Not enough minerals. So that makes sense actually. We're, we are going to need some more metal aren't we? So let's get rid of these plants. We don't want to be pointlessly using up resources on plants we don't need. Clear out all this. You can see one of the things I like to do here is lay framework even if the base isn't necessarily ready for it. And I think that kind of just is a helpful thing to do in general. So, we'll probably get a dupe as soon as possible in this case, even though it isn't exactly, like, optimal. Because, you know, it sort of makes sense. We're, we're trying to get as much done... Trying to get as much done in as few cycles as possible. Because, our, our you know, our, all of our resources, for the most part, at least in the beginning of the game, our resources are finite, right? We only have so much oxygen. We only have so much water. We only have, what is this? Invalid station. Get out of here. We only have so much of each resource. So that's something we really have to be uh, mindful of. Now another thing I like to do is I like to do you know bathrooms in different places. So for instance, I'd put a bathroom here, you know, and here. As an example, I'll have two bathroom locations. So, and usually I'll put uh, like my sleeping area right above my main base. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna start throwing down some cots because I know at least eventually is that oxalate right there? That is oxalate. I know at least at some point. What is what? Why can't I? Oh, okay. Is this thing right here? That's, that's not annoying at all, is it? So let's clear this. And I know that I'm, you know, technically overworking my dupes right now. You know, they're clearly not prepared for this level. Of, they didn't, they didn't know. They had no idea they were going to get abused this hard. But, uh, sorry dupes. This is just how it be. At least in the beginning of the game. Throw some of these down. I know those are going to be there. Again, we'll put some wash basins. Right there. And then we can get the room sort of set up as well. Which is important, right? We need to get those room bonuses as soon as possible. They really are worth it. And actually, in retrospect, it probably would have been smarter to keep this wall sort of intact here. 
because by having this wall open, we, you know, if what if somebody comes in to use the bathroom here, and then they then they go this way. So really, as soon as we get these bathrooms built, we'll probably make that adjustment sooner than later. All right, we know we're gonna need this at some point. So go ahead and we'll just decide that this is gonna be a medical room right now. We'll just put one in there. Actually, probably wanna throw away, uh... And these guys are noisy, aren't they? So we'll just put this in here for the moment. So we know we're gonna need it anyway. And... Uh, that doesn't make sense. We'll leave that open as well. Let's see what else can we do. Not too much right now. We just kind of gotta, kind of gotta let these guys do a thing. Oh, right. So food, right? Food's important, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So let's go up here, and we'll do. We'll make this our sort of food area here. Oop. This is gonna be where our food goes. And we're gonna go ahead and put our cook station sort of right next to that as well. So I already know that this micro musher is gonna go right here. Again, at least to start with, right? We can always move things around later. I'm trying to keep power to a minimum at the moment. Oops. Oh, oh and right on up. I try to hide the power lines as much as possible, um, you know, just for decor reasons. Um, but as you guys know, sick dupe. How is he already sick? He's look, this guy is already sick. Unbelievable. All right, what's going on here? Copy delivery. Let's throw a quick priority on this guy and this guy. Uh, you know, real quick. Just to get that research going. And it's it must be really stinky down here. Look at all this mess. And we can actually see here that we're gonna need to dig down sooner than later because uh, we can already see sort of oxygen. Um, you know. Kind of building up. That was weird. My headphones just like randomly turned off. I don't know what was up with that. Either way, we need to get... Oop. We need to get as much of this cleared down as possible. Because we want the oxygen to be able to stay up top. And that O2 to be able to fall. On that note, I'm really kind of waiting too long here with this, uh... Let's, let's really kind of accelerate this process here. I need to get this stuff done. We want to be researching already, honestly. And I know I've got these guys sort of loaded up, but... They gotta get her done. Oh, and there's a dupe, so let's go ahead and pick a dupe. For this, you know, purposes, we we kind of want to just get anything we can um, at this point. There's a vomiter, supply tidy, operate, that's good. It'd be great to pick an interior decorator. Uh, that'd be perfect, really. Biohazardous, unconstructive, flatulent. I mean, here's our interior decorator that we really need, but... Uh, that's just, there's too much bad going on there. I think I'd rather have this guy. Operate ranch care plus six cent plus six strength. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this guy here. And you know, normally I'd wanna optimize, you know, a little better. You know, only get dupes that are like the best of the best, right? But in this case, you know it's more about getting through these first couple of cycles well and quickly and efficiently. So that's my goal right now. 
So let's let these guys do their thing. And we'll kind of scope out the area. So it looks like we've got oh, a lot of polluted oxygen down here. The germs are falling quick, though. If we give this enough time, they might go away. We've got, looks like, a, lot, a little bit of gold over here. We, might, we should be able to get to that without hitting slime lung. We've got a lot of rock over here. Polluted oxygen, pinch of plants. Polluted water up this way. More slime, lots of polluted slime. Some hidden coal. More slime here, and there's something going on up here. Looks like we got another special here as well. So we get at least two specials in sight. So we should probably want to be thinking to expand to the left. Oh, and we got a cool steam vent. Look at that. That is... You don't get much luckier than that. That is just fantastic to see. And look, no germs at all here. Oh my gosh. This, this is so nice to see here. More gold. Again, sort of locked behind slime lung. But I think I saw a path through here where there was a... I'm pretty sure I saw a way down here without hitting slime lung. Might have been here. Not totally sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and immediately get our farming started. Because obviously we need to get that basically ASAP. Uh, it looks like we can do this without advance, so we'll just go straight up for that. Alright, now we're really rocking and rolling. And really, at this point, you know, we want to figure out what we actually need to prioritize. And I think that, in this case, would be those planters and the research. Now, I know my planters are going to go here. So... I probably want to just throw a quick nine on this just to get sort of the area ready for the research or for the planners. Um, you know, we can we can harvest meal wood. We can do all those things as we need to. Already starting to see a little bit of oxygen issues too, so we'll go ahead and throw down one diffuser. Luckily, we already have... Let's see, where are we going to put that diffuser? Let's just throw it right here for the moment. We already have power. It sort of makes sense. So we'll just throw that right there. And let's that, get that up ASAP as well. I mean, my, my guys are stretched thin, aren't they? We should probably let them get to the bottom here. And, you know, I know a lot of people are, are not, like, liberal with the uh, Priority 9, but I find that it really, really helps. Um, you know, you can kind of really show your dupes what it is that you wanted to do quickly. And it really helps if you're either in a bind or there's something that, you know, some task that you've been trying to get done that, you know... Either that you haven't gotten done, or that you know you need to. So... Alright, so we've already got this cleared out. It looks like... Where are we at here? Oh, so we've already got the planners. Or this, this guy is such a quick researcher. Wow. I mean, should I even... Should I even bother? I mean, just gonna have farm tiles here in a minute. Uh, I guess not. We, we're not even gonna worry about it for the moment. Let's just get some planter boxes up. We've got plenty. Oh my. And same thing here again. Just gonna prior nine this stuff. Getting food going is arguably the most important thing right now now I'm not a big fan of algae terrariums at all and I think if you watched any of my videos you'll know that um, but mostly because of the additional work that's required with the watering and, and filling up with algae and you know it's it's pretty unpleasant so if I can find a spot to put that 
where it's getting water already, then I'm definitely going to be a lot more, um, a lot more inclined, of course, to do so. Where's all my mealwood? Man, they just really locked my mealwood down here. I, I'm going to have no choice now but to uh, kind of dig all the way down. So let's get all these mealwoods. Well, I guess I guess I should be doing it like that, huh? Not like this. What else do we got? We got any more? We got some hiding up here. Hmm. Yeah, clear it all now. We're just clearing as much stuff as we can, really. I mean, we we need all of this area. This one I actually won't mess with for the moment, just because that's supposed to be my bathroom. And, you know, I need my bathroom. Alright, so... Where we at now is... We need to get some... Mealwood growing. So here's some couple mealwood seeds. And I think, what do we do? We copy settings, and we're just going to throw that all the way across. It's for the microbe builder. That's way up there. We'll hit that in a little bit. Refinement. Not worried about that at the moment. Mess table, we're going to need that. And so we'll just go ahead and put it... Go ahead and just put it right there for the moment. Again, no big deal. And what can we do for food? Hmm. So we could do some grilling. Some tiles, some farm tiles. I'm not really worried about any of that yet, to be honest. I just want to get moving as much stuff as we can. Oh, you guys are not... No, 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 no. You guys... Now you see what happened here, guys. These guys just came down and ate that raw mealwood. We do not want them to do that. Or meal ice, excuse me. We want to force them, okay, to eat the bars that we make them. So we're not going to allow them to eat meal ice. Muckroot, go ahead. I don't care about that. But they're not allowed to eat meal rice. So that's something I should have done already, but had not done. No big deal. We'll get it fixed. Thankfully, it looks like they're still washing their hands most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> more than more than enough. They're washing their hands the majority of the time. And I guess that's sort of all we can ask for at this point. I'm just going to make them all the way across for now. There's plenty for these guys to do. Let's check our oxygen out. So it looks like we're pushing a pretty good amount of oxygen uh, into the uh, zone now. It looks like it actually probably wouldn't hurt to throw another one over here. And I normally, again, wouldn't do that. But I have the wire right there already. So we're just going to roll with that. Let's finish these bathrooms up. This guy's working his way down. We want to uproot that. Now you might wonder, why are we uprooting the mealwood? And the reason is that the mealwood is going to grow faster when it's a tended crop than when it's a wild crop. So that's actually sort of important. Go ahead and check our priorities out. So it looks like Ren should be doing the majority of our farming right now. Let's actually lock out anybody else for the moment. If it becomes a problem later, we will fix it. 
you know, no big deal. I just keep clicking it one, one too many times. Alright. We're starting to catch up on work, it looks like. We always want to make two sinks, guys, just in case um, you don't know why. It's because if a sink is in use, a duplicate will walk right past that sink. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, we have a mirth leaf seed. Not too interested in that. Small bladder, gourmet. Ooh, here's a cooker and a digger. He cooks and he digs. So this is a real quality Catalina here. This is this is really good. And let's see if a grease monkey farming athletics ugly crack. Let's go with Catalina, and we're probably gonna chill with just five here for the moment. Probably won't move past five. Five's even a bit much considering the amount of food or lack thereof that we have. Um. But that's all right. I feel like they expanded this middle area a bit, too. I, I, I remember being smaller the last time I played. Oh, and look at me. We are not researching anything. So we should probably be getting... Coal. Actually, you probably should get a skill, skill board up ASAP. Let's do that. Let's get a uh, skill board up. So it's about this time where I probably want to start looking at my room overlays and say, okay, what's going on here? Uh, if this was a med bay, it needs a toilet and a mess table, right? So let's just, you know, just because we can, we'll throw the mess table in and we'll throw that toilet in there too. Looks like about all we got. We really need to get these finished up too. I want to get that sleeping bonus as soon as possible. And another day has gone and passed. Hmm. Alright, default schedule work. That's another thing Scottish should probably work at is uh, the schedules. Where are those schedules? No, it's definitely not here. This isn't too bad. Just food poisoning, consumables, right? Not seeing schedules. I think we need the job board perhaps unlocked for that. Yeah, he this guy is moving. This researcher is just super fast, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna have him just keep going really. Let's get that last tile in place. Looks like he's got four beds. Almost five. Start getting some rid of some beds. Looks like these are done. Let's get rid of those. And you might say, well, why even bother to get rid of them, right? Well, A, I don't want them there. All right, that's, that's the first thing. I don't want them there. Second off, we want to start converting to get these room bonuses. So... We finally got we got a med bay up. We got a latrine up. Obviously, we're going for a um, a barracks here for them to sleep. Another bathroom here. We want to get those room bonuses really as fast as we can. These are doing okay. We still haven't got here. I guess it's it's sort of just taking its time. Let's take a look at our oxygen. We're doing a lot better on oxygen now. These guys really like digging. I mean, I want them to... I guess there's nothing they can do here. 
I'd really like this uh, micro pusher to be used. I don't know how, why they're saying it's an unreachable dig. Do I need to like do it like that? I usually don't have to do that, but it's okay. No big deal. We'll do what we must. And I want that second bathroom up as well. Always like to have those two bathrooms, guys. Two bathrooms, at least. Where's that water cooler at? Didn't, didn't we unlock a water cooler? We sure did. Oh, we need two blocks for that? Hmm. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll just deconstruct that and we'll throw a water cooler in right there. Well, thanks for the coal, buddy. Thanks for the coal. We appreciate your efforts, sir. You're, you're just a nice little guy. Man, this guy's got a 91% chance of... Wow. That's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. I'm just gonna continue on down. Right. We're just continuing to put the infrastructure up that we need and sort of get out any bad stuff that we can from the system. This should hopefully let some of the bad stuff out without disturbing our water supply. We definitely don't want to screw up our water supply. Not something we want to do. The other thing we have to be watchful of, especially right now, is power. Now, right now we're not overloaded, right? We're doing just fine on power. But you can easily hit a point where you're not doing well on power. And you gotta be really, really careful of that. So hopefully we get these guys down there soon. And we'll keep going up as well. Clear out as much of this as possible. And we're also going to go over here. So what do we know? That's going to be a room of some type, right? Might be a farm station. It might not. No way to know yet. But we're just going to get these rooms sort of set up. So that when the time does come, you know, we're ready to rock and roll. And the same thing, honestly, can be said for over here. Even though we don't know what it's going to be yet, generally speaking, this layout works works great. So let's see if we can get some of these out of here. Get all this cleared out. All this. Check our germ overlay real quick. Make sure we're not touching any germs or close. Everything looks pretty good so far. Pretty good so far. Ooh, looks like we are all researched up as well. Let's go ahead and do some power now. We'll put a coal plant down here somewhere. Go ahead and sort of run that wire beforehand. That should work for the moment. I'm just kind of continue expanding. At this point, I probably just want to be good with the five that I have until I get some, you know, additional food production in place and things like that. Um, 
But what I will do is try to get in here. That means we got a nice vacuum up here. It's too bad we can't really use it. And this cool steam, this is just this is just beautiful. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and look at our power. Looks good. Temperature, we can see we're obviously generating some heat here. We don't necessarily want to do that, but we can come back with that. We've got a little bit coming in up here. Some up top. Nice little rainbow-ish type deal here. There's obviously something here. As well as here. This is really, really cold here. Whatever's going on here is quite cold. I really want to know what's going on here. So now that we have a skill board, we can do some more stuff here. We can look at our Frankie you now. What does our Frankie like to do? I forget. He does not like that, but he, he does like this. Is he our researcher? He's our researcher, isn't he? Oh, Hassan's our researcher. I thought Frankie was our researcher. Frankie is supposed to be our researcher. All right, you know what? You're not allowed to research anymore because I wanted Frankie to be the researcher. So let's take Frankie and we'll immediately throw him some research points. Where is our lovely farmer? Who's our farmer? That had to be Ren. Ren had to be the farmer guy. So we'll take him. We'll go ahead and plus two him to farming. Ooh, he's our farmer. I hope he is. If not, we just made a boo-boo. Yeah, okay, he is. And we had a good digger, too. Who is our good digger? I think Catalina, right? So let's just right away throw Catalina bone. We'll hit her with that dig. Ruby is strong. Medical care, tinkering. Hard to say. Not sure what we want. Her to do well we know we want her to do exosuit at some point so let's just go ahead and and give her that and Hassan I mean cannot master can cannot 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 he can't do any of these things huh all right well let's just let him cook then why not I'm fine with that And let's get all this stuff out of here. New printables are available. I guess we should grab something, huh? Man, these are some some interesting ones here. Nothing that good here. Jeez, look at that. This guy is, is beefy. Research, ranch, suit wearing, quick learner. That's kind of hard to say no to this guy. This guy too. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. These are both so good. I, I didn't want to take a sixth dupe, but oh my gosh. I, you know, I already have a really good learner. Let's just take this guy. He's got all positive stats. All right, and that's it. That's it. No more. We're doing six. All right. We're doing just six. Now I've got to like stand by my word on that one. <laughs> Let's throw another battery up real quick. Actually, we don't even need to do that. I want to wait on that uh, coal plant. Once so we have a coal plant. It's going to put it here. We know there's going to be one, so not a big deal. Choir's emptying. You guys should probably empty the bathroom then, huh? I mean... Seems like something that should be done. Oh, this barracks is too big. Look at that. Max 64 tiles. Room size 72. Well, we gotta do something about that, don't we? Uh, let's see here. So we need to get, what is that, six, eight tiles out of there? So that's just two blocks. 
So let's just do... We'll do this. For the moment. And that should uh, take care of that. That should fix that room. And let's see, what do we want next? I think I want to get a smart battery up next. Let's get that refinement going on. Hassan, this... He does not look happy. Well, he's, he's not upset. I mean, he's... Happy enough. Emitting polluted oxygen. Yeah, we need to get that compost pile rocking and rolling, too. So let's throw this... Throw these down right here just for the moment. Again, we can move them later. We just want to get something in here. This is just beautiful, this... This is just free water. Wonderful. Let's see, Lice Loaf. Make them forever. That's right. Although I hate using water on that, it is a good way to make food early game. Alright, so let's see what we got next here. We don't need that. Not too worried about that. I did want to get that water cooler in there. We should probably get a massage table room up and running. Actually, let's not put that there for now. Let's... I'm gonna wait on that massage table. Morale seems okay. Not gonna worry too much about it. And I want to get that coal generator. Yep, I want to get that in there ASAP. Man, that researcher is so fast. He just went through that thing. Oh my lord, that was quick. So let's do... Let's see, what do we need to do next? Really like to get some interior decoration. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Probably not optimal, but, you know, it's acceptable. And I want to get a rock granulator up. I'll throw this down here for the moment. Interestingly enough, a lot of the carbon dioxide seems to be getting trapped in here or pushed out completely. It's getting absorbed somewhere or another. Are the plants eating the carbon dioxide? I can't tell. Something seems to be. Really need to get this, uh, this room done too. Let's prior that. open up these doors too. No real need to have them uh, close like that, especially when you get the bonus, the room bonus, even with the door shut. And I know I had that in one of my other videos. Make sure you have those doors open. If it's a room that, you know, there's no reason that, you know, it shouldn't be, then by all means, you know, the mouse is just like so far away. Uproot. Uproot. Oh, looks like uh, she's stuck. I guess we have to blow that up. And we'll just double check our room view. Yes, we do now have the morale bonus here. And looks like we need to get this mess hall. So we're waiting on that as well. Let's enclose that. Throw some prio up. Pull this up to the top. Again, make sure that door is open. Next thing we're going to want to be looking for is that smart battery. 
and a kiln. I don't think we actually need ceramic yet, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. Egg cracker. Hmm. Power. Power. Alright, so everything's so far so good here. We're rocking and rolling. Looks like we have some skills to give out here. Ashcon. Okay, what what does he like to do? He likes to do everything. Doesn't actually say his. Oh, okay, he likes to tidy. All right, well, by all means, you, you go ahead and you tidy away, sir. You you just be the tidy master. Food safety research. No research selected. Man, this guy is lightning fast. I'll tell you what. Uh, gas pump, air systems. No, I think I want plumbing next. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Actually, you know what I want is that smart battery. Where is that smart battery at? There it is. Let's work on that smart battery. Some crown molding up here. Maybe a flower pot. I think there's supposed to be a cot. Didn't I put a cot there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a cot there. Put a flower pot or two. Oh yes, our, our rooms are so beautiful, aren't they? Uh, we're just going to... Do what we can. I think we had some crown molding here. Corner molding. And a pot wouldn't hurt. Same thing here. We'll go ahead and just start getting these rooms as decorated as possible. Um, can't hurt, right? This will keep them busy for a while. <laughs> Alright, so we got some beautification going on now. Oxygen looking a lot better here than it was. Meal lice we're waiting on. Looks like we're going to need some more um, farming ASAP. Look at all these eggs. All of these eggs. Let's get some more um, planter box up. And I know I, I do not need to use planter box. Um, I can just keep doing my thing. So I know I could be, you know, making the farm tiles here, but again, I'd, I'd need to do like a complete redesign and it's just not worth it. Like I'd rather just use the meal lice, do what we got to do here. And just kind of, kind of keep the flow going. And you know, it's interesting because you look here and you see the crown molding and it it doesn't really help that much. I mean, maybe when you have a lot of it, it might help, but, you know, it's not super amazing. It's, it's helping. You can see there's a little bit of green going on there. Let's see. What should we print? Uh, I don't even want another person. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to grab the seeds, take the seeds that it gave me. Now, why is this wire not connected? How is that- how is that wire not connected? I want to get a smart battery rocking and rolling ASAP, so I really need to get the, uh... That rock granulator doing its job, too. Speaking of, we can go ahead and keep clearing.
Not a big deal, though. And although it's only cycle 12, you can see where we're at, sort of. We've got the majority of the inner area cleared. We've got some food infrastructure up. We're about to make a smart battery and coal generator to better power the inside of our base. We're not overloading our circuits yet. Uh, ideally, you know, not at all. But obviously, we'll, 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 we'll look at it. And as soon as, you know, I might as well get rid of this, this battery here. Because that's just going to be a smart battery anyway. Looks like he's still, re yeah, he's still researching it away. Researching away. Let's check on our decor. Let's see if that helped at all. Gosh, where is it at? Decor. You know, it didn't help that much. It just, it didn't... It's good. You know, it's just not amazing. That's all. And it looks like we don't even have room specifically here, at least, for a hanging pot. But again, not a big deal. Our main areas we care about are our mess, or our, uh, Gosh, our barracks. Speaking of, let's get rid of this. This doesn't need to be here anymore. Looks like we have some skills available. Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Hmm. Yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and just up, up Ruby to improve carrying, too. And let's see, how much copper do we have? We have quite a bit. I'll just start with 10 for now. Um, mostly because I want to get that smart battery up as soon as possible. Which really is going to be any second now. And if you guys didn't know, the smart battery is going to send that automation signal over... Right here, it's going to send that automation signal from the battery to the coal generator to tell it to turn off, you know? As soon as we have that refined metal, should be just a, any second here. 100 kilograms, so it's got a little bit more to make. And then what we'll do is, we'll hook it right to the coal generator. That'll see right now the coal generator is still running even though our batteries are full and that's sort of the problem We don't want that we want that coal generator to stop running as soon as the batteries are full Now as you can see we have all this empty space and see that's the whole idea is we've built infrastructure here 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 and now we have all this extra space to expand into to sort of redo, if you will, the the infrastructure that we need to make. That doesn't make sense. It, it will it will later on. Take a look at our room view. We're doing great on our rooms. By the way, probably a good idea to throw down a save, huh? We'll just we'll just throw down a Prima 14 or something even though I mean I know there's an auto save, but I just I like to uh, You know kind of re be redundant be smart about it now Soon what I'll do is one of these will get made into a Sort of powered bathroom if you will which is you know a plumbed a plumbed bathroom <laughs> I guess would be a better way to say that Still want to know what's over here. Before I do that, I want to have insulated tiles ready. So, because I want to expand, but I also want to do that, I think the next thing I want to do is get some insulated tiles. Airflow tiles, yeah, I do need that. I do, I do kind of need that. Yes, so I'll shoot for that. 
I want the insulated tiles. I need the airflow tiles to move this oxygen around a little better. It looks like we're doing great, by the way, on um, oxygen. We've got our smart battery. Let's go ahead and make it. And we're going to run that automation line as well. Once we have a little bit more refined metal. I will note that this isn't the best spot for these because, you know, it's covered in carbon dioxide, right? And they can only sort of stay for so long down here. At the same time, you know, the coal is going to make carbon dioxide sort of no matter what we do. So it kind of makes sense in a way. Besides, once this is made, I'm not going to need much more refined metal. I really just need to get this one smart battery made, and then that'll sort of control the lot of it. Oh, we have an idle person. What do you... Well, no wonder you're idle. You're stuck in a wall. You had one job, Ashkan. One job. Which is not get stuck in a wall. There's plenty to build. There's plenty to clear. Plenty to do out here. Really, we can just get all this. Now, again, normally I'd like to get some insulated tile up first. Uh, before I do all this. Oh, speaking of. No automation wire connected. Oh, really? What, what, do, you, what do you call this? Okay, well, my bad. I guess, I guess I was wrong. All right, so now you can see this thing has a icon on it. It is no longer running. Battery sufficiently schooled, disabled by automation grid. Is it though? Is it actually disabled by the automation grid? I guess because the wire is technically not touching is enab unenabled disabled it's disabled by the oh man we got plenty of hatchlings these guys are all over pooping out coal for me these guys are the best they're just eating up trash and pooping out coal why can't i Confused. I don't have any briar seeds. How do I not have any briar seeds? There's a briar seed right there. It's an unreachable. It's an unreachable briar seed. How? Are these briar seeds all unreachable? Is that basically what they're getting at? I'm not too sure. We're doing okay on food. A little bit low. Probably would prefer to have more. Let's get these tiles sort of filled out a little bit better. Airflow tile. All right, so we can go ahead and start, you know, doing the airflow shenanigans that need to be done. That should be helpful. And honestly, that's a bit overkill. We don't actually need that many. But, you know, consistency is important, right? So. Make sure we have plenty of airflow tiles. Looks like the automation is now working correctly. 
we have the battery. It's now shutting off the grid until it hits 50%. Or in this case, let's just do 30%. And let's change this so that he only comes in at around 30 as well. So ideally, the coal generator is doing the majority of the work at all times. Oxygen's looking good. Power, we're starting to get a little stressed on our power grid. We're going to need a transformer soon. Can't say no to hatchling eggs. I'm not even, uh, not even going to look too much. We're just going to roll with it. Now we probably lost our room. Okay, right. So as expected, we lost our room bonuses here. Uh, again, not a huge deal, but we do want to get that done as soon as possible. We want these insulated tiles as well. That's sort of what I'm waiting on is those insulated tiles. And I really want these room bonuses. Just got to make sure to... Uh, For the moment, I'm just going to put some doors in. And again, we can take those out later. We'll recover the uh, minerals and gases and whatever it is else that we need. And I probably should throw another 10 or so of these down for the moment. That's weird. Just for the moment. Ooh. I don't know what that was. Looks like we now have our gas pump and gas. Oh, pitcher, liquid valve, of course. We have all this stuff. I'm not quite ready to move into any other areas yet. I just want to expand and keep going. I really want to get the insulated tiles up and get the inside of my base, you know, secured against um, outside threats. One visits. Interesting. That looks like a bug there, huh? One visits remaining. I mean, that's... I'm sure they could fix that to one visit. Plenty of water in here, too. Look how much water we have. Plenty of water. And then just have unlimited water over here, too, which is fantastic. Still haven't seen any... There's some iron. Still haven't seen a ice biome yet. Ooh, so here's some thimble reed. We're gonna need that. I'm thinking we'll come through here. This is mostly a vacuum. And then we should be able to just come straight down into there and avoid all this slime lung. Of course, still want to find out what's going on here and here as well. So that'll prob probably get to that as soon as we have some insulated tiles ready. That'll probably be the next thing I go after. Looks like we're starting to do better on food as well. Not sure what that was. Let's take another look at the power. So we were stressing our power. It's we're at that point where we really can't add anything else to the to this power. And that's okay, right? It's okay that we're there. It's just something we have to be aware of. So let's go back to power. And get that transformer going. Where's that transform? There it is. Right. We're going to do that next. And things are looking pretty good here. Just not sure why I still can't access this briar seed. I mean, I, I see the briar seed here. Very strange. 
Is it a, is it a, is it a bug or something that I can't s Huh. Is that a bug? I mean, I don't, I don't really know, honestly. I'm a little confused on why I can't uh, grab that. Oh, so what? Finally, we've got some insulated tiles. So, this is something I like to do. I look at where that heat's coming in, and I just like to cut it off. Let's just get it out of the equation. Uh, in this case, you know, probably want to use all the resources we can. So this is looking pretty good over here. and start clearing this stuff out now too we shouldn't need these any longer um really just have to kind of get those insulated tiles finished that's sort of the important thing at this point it's an interesting view that material view it's very strange it's like 8-bit It's like an 8-bit view. <laughs> Make sure we're not getting in any germs here. Looks like we're good. Same deal. We just want to be mindful of the temperature and, and, you know, not put ourselves in a position where we're unnecessarily allowing heat into the colony right and again these walls can be refined later right not a big deal although I, that appears to be slime right there I would like to avoid that slime looks like I can't unfortunately I don't think I can avoid that slime uh, which is very unfortunate. I, I would really, really rather not have to mess with that, but it looks like I have no choice. So. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, what happened here? Oh, I, I guess I didn't, uh... Bring these on down. I meant to. Alright, so that should, for the most part, take care of the insulation that's required. This isn't too bad up here, but we'll cut it off right here. And clean this up. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. And granted, you know, we're not going to get to this stuff immediately. It's okay. The idea is just that we have it in place. We sort of know where our borders are. And I can see this slime. This is just yuck. Guys, we do not want to touch that slime. Do anything I can to avoid that slime. Maybe things are different now, but slime lung can ruin a colony faster than anything else, as we all know. I still can't plant these briar seeds. <laughs> I 
I'm still not sure what's going on with that. Alright, well let's finish out cycle 18 here. And this will basically be, this is uh, this is basically part one. I mean, you're, you're setting up your colony, you're getting your insulation set up, you're getting your food supply running, you can see we're positive food now. Uh, we're securing our water sources, we're getting hatchlings going to get uh, coal. We've got a smart battery to turn on and off our coal generator, so we're preserving coal. We've got a rock granulator to get some refined metal. And generally speaking, we're just keeping all of our dupes busy. We're keeping them as busy as we can so that we don't waste any cycles, essentially, is the goal here. We don't want to waste any time. And actually, we'll go ahead and end it by just pulling these over. And that should pretty much do it for now ideally I'll probably print this down excuse me I'll probably dig this down here and combine these water sources and of course I want to get this water in too this water's pretty warm but free water is free water so that said let's take a look at what we got at the printing pod I think I'm good with just five dupes for the moment, so I'll just go ahead and grab this curative tablet and uh, we'll finish out cycle 18 and... Alright, great. Well, that's 18 cycles uh, in. Pretty much all of our infrastructure is pretty set up and good. In the next episode, we're going to look at expanding our power with the transformer. We're going to combine some water sources. We're also going to move up into plumbing and gases and we'll start sort of expanding into the outer regions and we're definitely going to find out what is here what is here so with that said i'll catch you guys later thank you so much for watching as always be sure to like subscribe check out all my videos and stay tuned of course for part two of let's play oxygen not included mk3 quality of life adios